Yes, good boy. Hi guys, Kayla here from Journey Dog Training, again with Jax, who's a Belgian Malinois. He's working line, um, actually failed out of a military working dog program. And he's living with me for some training right now, and we're gonna demonstrate to you guys the game Ready, Set, Down. Um, so this is gonna be really hard for Jax, I think. I've actually never played this game with him before, and he loves tug toys. So we're gonna play tug with him a little bit, and then the goal is to get him to out or drop the toy, respond to a command, and then start again. So this is a game that's teaching the dog to listen even when they're really excited about a toy. It's something that you could say is like an impulse control game, and it's super useful if you ultimately want to be able to get your dog to a place where your dog is able to listen to you when there are squirrels or other dogs around, um, and especially dogs that get highly aroused by play. Um, can really benefit from this game. So we'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit nervous if we're being honest uh, Because Jax has a tendency to be very possessive with toys. He's not aggressive, but he really likes having possession of the toy um, Out is really hard for him So dropping the toy is really hard for him and he gets highly highly aroused by toy play Which is relatively typical for his breed. So I think he's gonna be a really good dog to demonstrate this for you guys um, So <laughs> we'll see how it goes Hey, Jax. Sit. Turn. Good. Good. Good boy. Good job. Out. Down. Tuck. Good boy. Good job. Oh. Good job. Out. He got me in the hand there. Good boy. So here what I'm trying to think about doing is asking him to out before he gets too aroused. So when he's giving those whole body shakes like that, I don't want to let him do too many of those because he won't be able to think once I let him get that excited about it. So out. Touch. Boy, good job. Yeah, yeah, good boy. Out. Jax, out. Yes. Touch. Touch. Good boy, good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, drop or out. Down. Down. Catch. Bring it in. Tug it. Good boy. Good boy. Woo. Hey, out. Good boy. Out. Catch. Good boy. All right. We're going to call it there. That was actually better than I expected. Um, he did get a little bit overexcited at a couple points there. I'm going to let him end the game with possessing the toy. Going to let him win. Um, just so he is uh, he's excited to come back and play with me next time. So... What you're gonna need before you're able to play this game successfully with a dog is that the dog already knows a couple commands. So, you know, we had down, we had sit, and we had touch. Um, your dog also needs to know a cue that means to drop the toy, and your life is gonna be a whole lot easier if your dog knows a cue that means to take the toy. Um, so I have tug and catch and out for him for those purposes. Catch means to chase a ball or a toy that I've thrown. Tug is to get it out of my hand and play tug with it. Um, and again, one of the really important things as you're working on this with the dog is to know where your dog is at and 
cut the play short by making the toy dead, telling the dog to out, and then asking for a behavior before the dog gets so aroused or excited by play that the dog isn't going to be able to listen to it. So at first, we're just doing a couple seconds of play, um, and then you'll build up to your dog being able to listen to you when he's more and more excited or aroused. So that is the basics of the game Ready, Set, Down. I'm Kayla Fratt of Journey Dog Training. You can find all sorts of useful stuff from us at journeydogtraining.com under my blog, or by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Or if you're a podcast listener, my podcast is Canine Conversations, where I'm co a co-host with Ursa of Canis Major Dog Training. So um, you've got all sorts of ways to stay in touch, to learn more from us. And I hope that you find this useful and we talk to you again soon.